Hello everyone, the movie we're going to talk about today is called Beneath Us All in 2023. A one hour and 31 minute drama fantasy horror. Released September 19th, 2023. Here's the storyline. Julie is a foster child heading for her 18th birthday when she finds something buried with something unspeakable inside. Directed by Harley Whalen. Written by Brett Miller. Here's the cast. Sean Whalen as Todd Gibbs. Maria Olson as Janelle Gibbs. Jan Birch as Fry. Harley Whalen as Detective Donovan Booker. Michael James Alexander as Manny. Katie Whalen as Rebecca. Angelina Danielle Kama as Julie. And the cast goes on. Now, folks, I want to give special thanks to Joseph Williamson, the associate producer of the film, for sending me a link to review for my podcast. Here is a surprise film, I must say. Beneath Us All says what it says. You have Julie, who's about to turn 18, and she's in a foster care, and her foster parents are Todd Gibbs, Sean Whalen, and Janelle Gibbs, Maria Olson. Now, me and Ray Olson goes way back to 2010. We started, you know, she was in the movies when I first started podcasting. And we did an interview as a group for a Woman of Horror show that we I did in 2011. So I'm familiar with her work. Um, also, of course, Sean Whalen has been around since the 80s in films. Two great actors. Storyline, like I said, you have Jolie, who is... You know, ready to turn 18, that means she gets booted out of the house because these parents, as most cases in in the United States and all over the world, they get paid to foster kids. And I would say probably like 65% of those parents are only doing it for the money. I could be wrong, but that's just how I feel. And in this case, you have them getting paid by the state. And Sean Whalen, the father... Todd Gibbs has a gambling problem, trying to make money without having to work. And then you have the nastiness of Todd Gibbs towards the kids. It's just a pretty badass storyline here. As far as how the how he treats Julie at times irritates me. Of course, that's the character, of course. But there's a backstory here. Julie goes out in the woods and finds something in the woods. She lets it out. She takes this guy, Fry, Jan Birch, to like a shed in the woods so the parents don't see him. Well, you see Jan Birch, Fry, in the beginning of the movie of how he ended up in that box. I'm not going to give too much detail away because, you know, you can still watch it. What leads to Fry wants humans to get stronger and survive. She didn't realize it at the time, but then she does something that kind of uh, turned her into like him to where now she's not Julie anymore. You have a kid and kids in here that look up to Julie. And now the damage has been done. So now he's telling her that he needs three more victims. Brilliant film, shot very well. I love the characters in this film. I thought Maria Olsen and Sean Whalen were fantastic in here. Harley Whalen plays a detective, he was phenomenal. And of course Katie Whalen played Rebecca, and I thought she was amazing. The whole cast was great. Shot very well. At times, the music that they use in the background kind of reminds me of the old Children of the Corn. Not the same music, but you got that creepy, kitty, weird background noise that made this movie even more powerful. Compliment. Love that. So basically, it's now it's going to be right to the final end of the movie. Who's going to survive? Who's not going to survive? And everything comes out. I'll say no more than that. Again, fascinating 
fantastic film. I was not expecting this film to be what it turned out to be. I also want to mention Julie, the character in here, was phenomenal. Watching her perform and how she handled herself was brilliant. I couldn't find anything creepier than watching her change. Fucking brilliant performance. Now, Rebecca was a children youth service employee. She was um, switched to their account, and she would come and visit the family, and especially for Julie because of her turning 18, to try and help her make plans for the future, for college or whatever. She was amazing too. Fantastic performance. That being said, this is Gruesome Herzog. I give this film a 9 out of 10, an absolutely punch-in-the-mouth film. Fan-fucking-tastic. Once again, great cast, great storyline, great movie, and again, special thanks to Joseph Williamson for sending me a copy to review for my podcast. This is Gruesome Herzog, and I'm out of here.